plans to export Japan's high-speed railway, the Shinkansen, for the first time as a total system are well underway. The project aims to connect two major cities in the state of Texas with the famous bullet train. Technical support from the Central Japan Railway Company, or JR Central, has already begun. In this program, we take a look at the Texas Bullet Train Project, which is scheduled to begin operations in 2023. At the same time, plans are progressing for the Texas Bullet Train Project, which will connect Dallas and Houston utilizing the Japanese Shinkansen system. The state of Texas has a population of around 25 million. There are currently only two modes of transportation between Dallas and Houston, flying and driving. The flight time is around 70 minutes, but including the drive to the airport, security checks and so on, the trip takes closer to four hours. Driving the entire distance also takes four to five hours, even using the highway. So a private sector company began work on a high-speed railway project. The Texas bullet train is the next big thing. Connecting Houston and North Texas, this train will accommodate the rapid population growth of two of the nation's largest and fastest growing economies, an unprecedented project in Texas. The company is called Texas Central Partners. To date, they've raised a total of $115 million in private funding. In order to realize the project, they've been acquiring licenses and purchasing land. So the N700 is the safest way to travel in the world, and it's also the most reliable. And I think Texans will really embrace the ability to connect in between these two communities in a safe and fast way. Then, in May 2016, JR Central established a fully owned subsidiary company in Dallas, Texas, called the High Speed Railway Technology Consulting Corporation, or HTEC. 18 engineers were dispatched from Japan to assist with the technological development of the Texas Bullet Train project. We need an environment where the Shinkansen system can be delivered as a complete package. That means we need to build the infrastructure from the ground up, including the construction of a completely new line. To achieve that, we're working in America with the developers of the Texas Bullet Train Project. In February 2017, Elaine Chow, who was recently inaugurated as United States Transportation Secretary, shared her thoughts on the development of high-speed railways at the National Governors Association Winter Meeting. We have a number of very impressive high-speed rail projects throughout the country. Most recently, I received a visit from um, uh, people who are involved in the Dallas-Houston high-speed rail. Um, high-speed rail is part of the thinking of the future uh, transportation system of our country.